Clear Basics, Changing the Way of Learning. Please like, share and subscribe. Clear Basics, Changing the Way of Learning. Please like, share and subscribe. Hello little friends. Welcome back to our channel Clear Basic, Changing the Way of Learning. Clear Basic family will together be a part of your successful journey and will also help you to enrich with all best possible contents in order to boost your performance. We all will accept a positive cooperation and response from your end. So please like, share and subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for our latest notification and updates. Best wishes to all of you from our team Clear Basic. Hope you are all doing well in this corona outbreak. Wash your hands regularly and wear masks and maintain social distancing. Stay at home to protect yourself. So friends, without any further delay, let us start our session. I hope you all will definitely enjoy the session. Today, we will cover the second chapter of Unit 1. Three little pigs. Little means small. Friends, I have already discussed the meaning in my previous video. Friends, if you have not seen my previous video, then click on the i button on the top of the screen in order to check out the best to best contents. Now, the story is based on three little pigs and they are different types of houses. Now, let us see whose house is stronger. Friends, now listen carefully and enjoy the story. Once there are three little pigs, Sonu, Monu and Konu. Sonu lived in a house of straw, which means Sonu's house is made of straw. Straw is a type of dried stalks of grain used specially as fodder or as material for thatching, packing or weaving. Mono lives in a house of sticks. Look at the picture. Here you can see that this house is made of sticks. Where Sonu lived and Gonu lived in a house of bricks which means Gonu's house is made of bricks. Now friends, can you tell me what is the color of Gonu's house? Yes, you are correct. It is red in color. Very good friends. Now let us come back to our story. One day, a big bad wolf came to Sonu's house. He said, I will huff and puff and I will blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Here you can see in this picture, one day a quail wolf came and he blew down Sonu's house. Now let us see what comes next in our story. Isn't very interesting friends? Ok friends, now let us read again. Sonu ran to Monu's house. The wolf came to Monu's house. He said, I will huff and puff and I will blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew Monu's house down. Now you can see in this picture, the wolf is blowing the Monu's house down. Now let us see what comes next. Sonu and Monu ran to Gonu's house. The wolf came to Gonu's house. He said, I will huff and puff and I will blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed. But he could not blow the brick house down. It was very strong. The wolf went away and Sonu, Monu and Gonu lived happily together in the red brick house. Here we can see the wolf also tried to blow down Gonu's house. But the wolf would not blow Gonu's house because 
it was strong and made of brick then the wolf went away from the place and after that all the three pigs lived happily together in the red brick house so friends can you tell me whose house is stronger than others yes you are right golu's house is strongest among all the three houses because it was made of bricks very good friends hope you all enjoyed the story very much now let us move on to our next slide now friends let us know new words and their meanings from the story along with example of sentences the first word you that we learn today is and a n d and a type of a conjunction it is used to connect to different sentences or words now let us take an example of sentence rita and mita go to school in this sentence the two words rita and mita are connected by the conjunction and next word is bad b a d bad bad means unfair which is opposite of good now let us take an example of sentence the wolf was bad which means the wolf was not good now let us move on to the next word the next word is big b i g big big means large or larger in size which is opposite of small friends now let us make a sentence with the word big in it elephant is a big animal which means elephant is large in size next word is but b u t but but means yet it is also a type of conjunction now let us take an example of sentence she is slow but steady which means she is slow yet steady next word is not n o t not it is used for negative meaning now let us take an example of sentence the tree is not big which means the tree is small in size next word is one o a e one it is a number it looks like this now let us take an example of sentence my friend gifted me one chocolate next word is pig p i g pig pig is a kind of animal friends you can see in this picture this is a picture of a pig and it looks like this now let us make a sentence with pig in it pig lives in dirty place the last word is d t h e d it is an article which is used to indicate definite object friends now look at this picture this is a picture of a rose if we want to indicate this particular rose then we will have to use the article d now look at the sentence the rose is red friends i hope you all understand the meanings clearly friends you need to watch this complete video to understand the concept clearly don't skip any part of this video and at the end of it there will be a surprise waiting for you so friends let us watch and enjoy the video till the end now friends let us move on to the exercise friends 
Now let us answer this interesting question. The first question is how many pigs are there? Friends, try to remember the answer. Okay, let me help you out now, friends. Count with me. One, two, three. Yes, there are three little pigs. Sonu, Monu and Golu. The next question is, what did the big bad wolf say to the pigs? Do you remember friends? Well, let me tell you friends, the big bad wolf said to the pigs, I will huff and puff and I will blow your house down. The next question is, was the wolf good or bad? What do you think friends? In the story, we have seen that the wolf destroyed the pig's houses. But somebody who does harm to others is good or bad? Yes, bad. So the wolf was bad. I hope this is clear to you friends. Now let us move on to our next slide. What is your house made of? Friends, take your time. And try to solve this question and comment your answer below. The last question is who is good and who is bad between the wolf and the pig. After reading the entire story, we can say that the wolf is bad and the pigs are good because the wolf blew their houses down, but the pig did not do anything to harm the wolf. Friends, I hope you are having fun doing this. I will provide you more examples, PDF, worksheet, interesting puzzles in our FB and Telegram groups. So, don't forget to join our FB and Telegram group. Link is in the description box below. Now friends, let us do some fun again. Friends, can you match the following animals with their habitats? Okay, I will help you to match the animals with their habitats by drawing lines. Here you can see different kinds of animals. Some lives in farmhouse, some lives in water and others lives in jungle. The first animal is horse which lives in a farmhouse. So, I will draw a line which joins the horse to the farmhouse. Next animal is buffalo. Friends, do you know where does the buffalo live? Yes, you are correct. The buffalo lives in a farmhouse. So, I will make a line which joins the buffalo to the farmhouse. The next one is crocodile. The crocodile lives in water. So I will draw a line which joins the crocodile to the water. Friends, have you seen the next animal? Yes, the next animal is goat which lives in a farmhouse. So I will draw a line from the goat to the farmhouse. The next animal is hen which also lives in a farmhouse. So, I will make a line from the hen to the farmhouse. Friends, can you recognize the next animal? Yes, the next animal is cow. Cow is an animal which we can see in farmhouse and it gives us milk. So, I will draw a line from the cow to the Farmhouse. Now let us move on to our next slide. Friends, can you recognize the animal? Yes, this is a bear. Bear lives in jungle. So I will draw a line which joins the bear to the jungle. The next animal is Rhinosaurus, which also lives in jungle. So I will draw a line which joins the rhinoceros to the jungle. Friends, have you seen the next animal? 
Yes, the next animal is frog. A frog lives in water. So I will draw a line from the frog to the water. And the last animal is giraffe, which is the tallest animal. Giraffe lives in jungle. So I will draw a line which joins the giraffe to the jungle. Friends, I hope this is clear to you now. Now let us move on to our next slide. Friends, let us match the animals with their sounds. The first animal is dog. And we all know that dog barks. The next animal is cat. And what does cat do? Yes, the cat mews. The next animal is goat. Can you tell me what is the sound of a goat? Yes, the sound of a goat is bleat. The fourth animal is lion. And we all know that a lion roars. And the last animal is Dark and we all know that a dark quacks. Hope you have understood the concept clearly. Now friends, it's time to discuss the answer of previous day's surprise question. Take your answer. The answer of the previous day's question is mango. Now friends, let us match the answer with the previous day's hints. Mango is a summer fruit and it tastes very sweet. It is green at first stage and yellow when it's ripe. Friends, I hope you all answered it correctly. Now let us move on to our next slide. Now guys, it's time to reveal today's surprise. Let us come to the question of the day. The surprise is, guess who am I? I am used for writing. I am cylindrical in shape. I have ink within me. You hold me in your hand. Friends, comment your answer below. Thank you guys for your love and support. We hope you all will be with us in this journey. Then we can definitely accomplish our mission. See you in my next video. Stay tuned with us to get the latest updates of our upcoming videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. Stay safe, stay well, go with clear basic. Bye bye friends. Thank you all for this session. If you want to be updated with the notifications please like share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.